going on y'all my name is spice this is spice can't fish um i was gonna do my intro when i was back on shore but i really just wanted to get fishing there are a ton of people hitting this spot and i just kind of wanted to get out get away from the bank and then do my intro while i'm out here so i'm out with my buddy joe again he's over on the bank and uh we're at one of the reservoirs near us and it is so clear. Like I tied some stuff on thinking it was gonna be like clear-ish and I'm actually gonna have to retie some stuff because it's like six foot visibility, maybe something like that. It's unreal. I don't get it. Anyway, I'm gonna probably start with a small swim bait, uh, like a Kai Tech or something. And then uh, if I get some bites on that, I might switch up to a bigger swim bait. I have a larger bluegill uh, style swim bait tied up as well. So we're just gonna probably switch between those two today. Water temps are right around the 60, 61 degree mark. Um, air temps are probably pretty similar to that. Uh, we got like 10 mile an hour winds from the south spawns in probably a few days i think the full moon is like the sixth through the eighth or something or like the seventh somewhere around there anyway this should be the time where they're just trying to get one or two big meals and i think trying to imitate a big old bluegill or crappie or perch or something is going to probably be the way to go but we'll see right now i'm just making my way to the southern end of this pond and uh, then I'm just gonna do some drifts from that end all the way down I'll get back at y'all once we get over there it's gonna probably take me a minute or two oh, all right y'all here we are we've made it to the far side of this lake pond reservoir whatever you want to call it um, Wind is to my back, and I'm gonna try and keep it that way, <laughs> both for the audio's sake, as well as casting distance, and just my personal comfort overall. But uh, I'm gonna start out with a little swim bait, like I said. It's a Kytec uh, Swing Impact, not the fat, just the regular Swing Impact. And it's on a 4 aught EWG hook from BMC with like a quarter ounce or three eighth ounce weight on it, something like that. I'm just gonna slow roll it over some of these grass beds out here. This lake is pretty much just like two or three big grass beds and uh, some like deeper spots in between those grass beds. So I'm gonna try and figure out which grass bed they're on right now and uh, go from there. Got a fish. I had one, I had one munching on it.
Oh my god. Holy shit, what was that? They're blowing up on bait up here. Holy crap. Alright folks. I don't know if y'all just saw that, but there are fish blowing up on bait right here. I just saw a whole bunch. So we're gonna try and cast on them. Come here, fool. <laughs> there we go. First one of the day on the kayak. Here we go. <laughs> hey, Joe. Sweet. Hells yeah. Little female. All right, miss. Have a good one. <laughs> that was awesome. First fish on the Kytec. That's a good sign. And he's off. Bye, Joe. I'll see you on the other side. Oh. All right, fools. Joe's taking control of Anaheim for the moment. He's gonna go yeet his way down the bank. Hello. Have you had so much fun up here? Yeah, a lot of fun. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, a lot of fun. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. Yeah, great. <laughs> What's up? Uh, yeah, I got three. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're... What's up? Sorry? Uh, 250-ish. Yeah, I know, right? What's up? I am brown, yeah. <laughs> you guys have any luck? Oh, gotcha. Oh, she's got something. Why am I brown? My dad is brown, so I'm also brown. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good one. Bye, have a good day. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Why are you brown? <laughs> Anyway, like I was saying before, that little girl uh, kept repeatedly asking me why I was brown. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Joe's taking my kayak hostage. No, I let him borrow it. He's out uh, whipping around in the main lake. I just grabbed two rods off of there. I got that 7-1 that I have my kayak on. And uh, I also got my 7.4, which I tied a bigger bluegill swim bait on. So we're just going to take those two 
and uh, see if we can't make something happen. They're pretty obviously eating on bait fish right about now, so I feel like we got a pretty good chance. Let me see if I can get another bite or two on this Kytec and then maybe switch up to the bigger one, see if we can get a bigger bite. But uh, I don't know, we'll see. But I'll catch up with you guys when we get to the spot. All right, after like a half an hour walk, we are finally back and ready to go fishing. Joe stole my kayak, and of course, as soon as he got on, the wind calmed down, and it's perfect fishing conditions. But, I don't really care. I'm still gonna try and catch one from the back. Rub it in his face a little bit. Is that a no? What? Any luck? Yeah, not yet. Mm. I just have one right there. Mm-hmm. Hey Joe, could uh, you come here for a sec? Yeah, 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 whenever you can. I just, I need another Kytec. I just, I want literally, uh, come, yeah, come here. I'll, I'll explain when you get here. This is Major Tom to ground control. Look. I missed three so far. Well. Thanks. This is major time. Can I have um the spray real quick? Alright. Day two fools, we out here. Joe is on the bank over yonder, and he's already caught one on a wacky rig as I was tying up and being an idiot. So, since I also have a wacky rig tied on, you bet I'm gonna throw it. You're gonna throw around these little uh, bass attacker worms. They're okay, they're not the best. I also don't know where you can find them, so I'm gonna do my best to link them in the description if they work. But if not, then I'll just leave y'all a link to a good finesse worm instead. Because that's pretty much all that this is. It's just a little finesse worm, a little four-incher. Pretty much just a substitute for like a smaller zoom trick worm or something. Got a really slow rate of fall though. Really slow. Water temp right now is 66 degrees, so these fish should be up shallow and feeding up before the spawn next week. So, with that in mind, we're gonna try and fish up shallow. Let's see if I'm gonna switch up lines real quick. Let's 
see if I can find something that contrasts the water a little bit more. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna switch up to these power bait, uh, the general. See if he'll eat this. Sitting on this grass line right here on the island. I'm gonna see if I can maybe get a bite. Maybe catch a fish today. Apparently not with that Senko though. Give that another shot. Oh my god, what the hell? I'm on. That was so weird. First cast with the general, and we are hooked up. Feels like a decent one. Feels like a, oh my god, that is a decent one. Don't spit that hook, baby. 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 Don't spit that. Oh man. Get my neck ready. Come here, bub. Come here, bub. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. That's awesome. <gasps> Hells yeah. That's a good one. For sure. <laughs> Hells yeah, dog. Let me get that hook out of you, miss. Just barely hooked. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's a good one. All right, I'm going to see how much she weighs real quick. Snap a picture or two and get the little miss on her way. If I can find my scale. All right, miss, just chill out right there for a minute. Got some spunk to you. All right, all right, all right. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, I'm gonna let you go. I'm gonna let you go. Give me that mouth. Give me that mouth, miss. There we go. Give me that big old mouth. <laughs> all right, see how much she weighs. Holding at 229, not bad. I'll take a 229. Take a 229 all day. All right, let me just grab a few pictures. All right, miss. Thanks for biting. Have a good spawn. There she goes. Hell yeah. That's a good sign. Oh, that was nuts. Literally like first cast on the, uh, the general on this bank. Love it. Can already say I am a fan. Shout out to uh, Devin Banks Fishing. He's the uh, professional bass angler who gave me a little juicy nugget about this. Shout out to you, D Banks, you the man. Get right back up into place and try and get us another one.
I got another fish. There we go. Number two, number two, little guy. All right. Finally, gosh. All right. Sounds good. See you, buddy. Later. All right, y'all. We got uh, not a lot of time right now. It looks like it's about to start raining. Um, and on top of that, I have to get home pretty soon. But I just dropped Joe off, and I have a few minutes before I actually have to go do some homework. So I'm just going to try and get on maybe one or two fish over here at one of these little ponds. Brought two rods with me. Uh, frog rod, Senko. This place was really grassy last time I was here. And it's looking even more grassy now. So, I don't know. I think probably this was a good way to go. Might have been slightly smarter to bring a Texas rig Senko as opposed to a wacky rig. But we're going to make it work. My plan is to fish the heavy parts with the frog and then the lighter parts with the Senko. Maybe try and pick this part like a half hour. A lot of the time they kind of congregate up here in this back corner because there's moving water coming in from the river or creek that runs in. So we're going to see. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was crazy. All right, y'all, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, as y'all could tell, it was kind of a struggle out. Uh, we didn't catch very many fish, we didn't have very many bites, but uh, I thought I was able to put something together towards the end and, you know, get on a few fish for y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Again, if you did, please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button to let me know that I'm doing a good job and uh, to keep putting out videos like this. Uh, I really enjoyed making them, except for that one part where that guy came and started fishing pretty much right on top of me but um other than that i had a pretty good time so let me know if you want to just see some more uh kayak fishing bank fishing stuff like that also let me know down in the comments uh how y'all would have responded if someone came and fished pretty much right up on top of you after they saw you were getting a couple of bites all right y'all to the next one tight lines and keep it real i'm out peace